now we are going to discuss about debtors the 10th term we are going to discuss about debtor what is meant by debtor what is meant by debtor what is meant by debtor is a customer okay still that means a customer is nothing but is nothing but a debtor who received the benefit from the company sir we can say he is nothing but a customer customer means what sir he received benefit no sir he received the benefit from the company if he receives the benefit from the company he need to pay the amount or not sir yes sir no he will be called as a debtor he will be debtor that means he need to pay the amount i am not said saying the word paid the amount what sir i am saying he need to pay the amount for the company he is nothing but what sir debtor he received the benefit from the company so he need to pay the amount to he need to pay the amount to the company for what purpose is paying the amount for receiving the benefit he is paying the amount to the company he is nothing but what sir debtor he is nothing but what sir debtor now i am going to ask what is meant by debt what is meant by debt come on come on come on sir it is also a debtor sir this debt also can be called as a debtor what that means what sir due from a person what sir here due from a person that means here it became debtor in the olden days first they used to use a word debt that means nothing but what sir due from a person later on it became debtor later on it became debtor sir both are same don't get confused debt means your mind will be thinking in different manner so because of that reason i am saying debt is nothing but a debtor only who need to pay amount to the company he is nothing the person who need to pay the amount to the company he will be treated called as even debt also next book debt what is meant by book debt what is meant by book debt this is not also nothing but what sir it is also called as a debt sir what sir it is also called as a debt sir debt means debtor ah debtor only sir book purpose we are entering a transaction that is nothing but what sir book debt in books we can see that there is a debt so that because we have been used book debt later on generation is getting changed now it has been gone for debt debt to data that means it is also nothing but what sir amount due to the business who is due the individual is due to the person is nothing but what sir book debt that means now you understood book debt debt debtor three are same okay sir i hope if you go for interviews they'll be asking what is meant by debtor you will be saying the answer yes because you are really well he will ask what is meant by book debt he will be asking you what is meant by debt you will be saying three answers differently to my knowledge but the three are same sir careful next what is meant by good debt good debt good debt good debt purchasing on goods from the company purchasing goods from the company no sir good debt you purchased the goods but according to company's mind saying that he will be paying amount in full is nothing but what sir good debt what is meant by debtor he is nothing but purchase the goods on credit yes or no sir purchase goods on creditor but i am really confident sir that he will pay the amount in full one day i estimating i started to estimate but i'll be treating because there are many fellows in the market available they will be paying and they will not be paying the amount the person i am having confidence that this 
individual will be paying the amount in full that confidence itself make the entry as good debt that is the amount will be collected in full that means we have the confidence that amount will be collected in full that is nothing but what sir good debt there is nothing but what sir good debt that means there is no doubt about recovery recovery will be done full that much confident i have so that only i am using a word good debt okay sir this is the 13th term next 14th term is nothing but bad debt what is meant by bad debt sir what is meant by bad debt there is no doubt at all sir that he will he will pay there is no doubt that he will pay that means finally what sir he will not pay that is nothing but what sir throwing money and uh, in what sir ocean and saying like this if you throw the money in ocean kill you can can you expect the money come to come no sir if you throw money in a well there is a chance if you go inside you can bring that yes sir you get there is chance to bring the amount if you throw in a well but if you throw the amount in ocean it is not possible that means it is nothing but what sir there is no confident in collecting the amount that means what sir which is irrecoverable in simple words i can say sir it is irrecoverable that means irrecoverable means it is lost to the company or not lost to them because of that reason only we are charging to p and l account that means we are debiting to p and l account don't worry sir for time being you understand that means the accounting terms which i am going to explain now that means just in a banana you can see a banana leaves will be available just i am taking out the leaves sir i am reviewing leaves sir i need to put that fruit still in your mouth sir why because putting that fruit in your mouth is nothing but i need to explain what is meant by journal terminology ledger terminology trial balance terminology after that i need to explain balance sheet and i need to bring the terminology in such a manner you should make your own balance sheets then only it is possible to understand this that means few terms can be understood few terms can be understood but to understand whole 43 the terms which i am going to explain then when we finish the sessions at the time this 43 terms you can understand easily sir okay that means now i am going to put only the i am removing the limbs that means i need to put banana in your mouth and you need to swallow and you to be digested when it is possible to digest sir when the portion finishes only it is possible to digest okay sir now bad debt you understood in layman language radu dabbu inka it is a loss to the company that means it is irrecoverable from the company what about doubtful debts sir what is meant by doubtful debt ah that means uncertainty is existing it is not certainty certainty means it is a good debt here uncertainty may or may not may or may not that means if you throw a rupee in a well it may or may not chances are there or may chances are not available this is nothing but what sir doubtful debts there is chances of recovering i am using a word chances that is nothing but i am doubting this is nothing but what sir doubtful debts what sir doubtful debts okay sir i hope you understood clearly come and write the notes our friend asking me a question sir what uh, sir doubtful debts is a possible loss yes or no is a possible loss may or may not occur that means the word may or may not is nothing but what sir possible loss then why you are charging to profit and loss account you are asking such a question yes or no that means i said just now only i even did not throw seeds into the ground sir or in the earth still white sir before throwing seeds into the ground i need to cultivate with two or three minutes then only i need to throw the seeds yes or no i need to make ground properly that means uh, this concept i said uh, may or may not i said only one thing sir doubtful means uncertainty may or may not recover that is loss 
are possible loss you are asking me you are going a step forward that means you know this concepts of before only but you need to know another thing also sir that means why you are charging pnl account means there is a concept is clear sir according to prudence concept we study that in advance sir. after completion of this uh, whole portion i am going to explain that uh, accounting concepts accounting principles and all then you are going on there prudence concept said you clearly in the future there is a gain or may you are getting a benefit from the company that means uh, there is a chance to get a benefit don't uh, credit the p and l account that means may or may not come that uh, profit okay sir don't go over happiness but says one thing you need to think in such a manner may or may not arise the loss there is chance of arising the loss in the future then immediately you will get and ante kada sir it is come to natural future lo mana kashtalu vastavani telise munde prepare ready ga undali sir we need to prepare and get ready for future hard times we need to get ready in the future about to get benefits are you get ready sir if that benefit don't get what is your possibility that means you should never and ever be ready for the future benefits but you should be ready for future hard times to face i hope you understood sir